Today's letter of the day is Z. Zebra? Z. One of those fun tickly ones with our tongue. Z. Put your teeth together. Z. Let's practice it. Z. Zebra. Z. You guys have been pretty good about making this. Probably the best first graders I've ever had. You don't write it backwards, which is great. Z is tricky because it starts here and pushes across the line. It traces the plane line. So let's go ahead and do it with our fingers in the air. We're going to trace the letter. Ready? In the air, like we would skywrite. I can't quite point. I don't want to hit the computer. But you're going to trace this letter for me. Ready? Across. Slide down. And trace the grass line. Try it again. We're going to trace the plane line. Slide down and trace the grass line. All right, let's go ahead and do our words. Letter sounds. Z, zebra, z. N, nut, n. E, ed, e. Eh. A, apple, a. Ah. S, snake, s. P, pan, p. T, top, t. R, rat, er. L, lamp, o. I, itch, i. Lots of vowels in this one today. Today I'm going to do our vowel um, extension chart. I'm going to mix them up. So watch the pointer so we know which ones we're going to be doing. Ready? E, ed, e. O, octopus, ah. I, itch, i. A, apple, a. Ah. U, up, a. Ah. Practicing those vowel sounds, they are the most important thing to get down so we can sound out our words. All right, today we are going to do a word, but you will need your um, whiteboard or your paper that came in your folder with the three boxes on top. Because once again, we are going to be writing and practicing our, um, our letter formations and sounds. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to do some words. We're going to manipulate them and change just one sound at a time to make new words. So let's start with L, I, T. All right, let's go ahead and tap out the sounds. We're going to be really good at this, all right, because you're going to do it every day. We're practicing tapping out these sounds because as some of the other students who have been tapping for a long time know, you can sound out a lot of big words if you practice how to get these foundational skills done first. Ready? O, I, T. Lit, lit. All right, let's change one of the letters. We're just changing ending sounds today, so we're going to be starting the same. So we took the T sound and changed it to a P sound. Lip, 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 lip. Think about the lip on your face. So let's change lip to. Oh, actually, let's change the lip, the middle sound. So we had lit to lip. Now let's change lip and change the middle sound, the i sound, to an a. Ah. Lap, lap, lap. Does your dog lap up his bowl of water, or do you like to sit on someone's? All right, let's go ahead and change and start a different change. Let's try brand new. Um, and if you notice, I probably didn't need to change the entire. We, let's let me show you what it was. There's lap. I didn't need to change all the letters. I could just take the L, the O in lap, and change the sound to an er instead of an L. So now let's try it. Rap, rap. All right, now let's change those middle sounds. 
Ready? Er, ip, rip. Let's keep this one. This one's tricky. Look, these letters are so similar. Let's try that one. Ready? I changed the er to a n. Mm. So instead of rip, we're going to have nip, nip. I hope you're doing this along with me because it's really important that you understand how to change the sounds. I'm going to change the, that we did the er. We changed rip to nip. Now we're going to put an s sound instead in the front of the word. So think about it. These are all rhyming words. Rip, nip, s. Try it. Sip, sip. All these are rhyming sounds. You can change this often. I want you to start getting used to when you rhyme. Just changing the beginning sound but keeping the ending sound. Anything after the vowel is considered a rhyme. So the whole end of the word is anything after that red pink card. Those are the rhymes. So I can take anything off before the vowel and put something on the front. So we had rip, sip, nip. Try it. Ooh, ip, lip. What if I had another sound? Oh, this is a challenge for you guys. This is a challenge. Two consonants before the ip sound. We have a f and a o. So we went from lip to flip. Flip. That was a challenge in case you want to try four letter blending. All right, we are going to go and write some sounds now. So go ahead and get your whiteboard for me or your paper with the boxes on it. We're going to try three sounds and then I'm going to dictate three words to you. Um, I am not going to write all of this down for you. I just wanted to get this to show you what we're doing. But you're going to pass it in to me. So you should have a paper in your folder. Um, that you can pass in for next week so that I can see if you hear the three sounds and if you can spell the three words. So this is kind of an end of the week practice. So the first sound up in the top is ah. Go ahead and write what letter makes ah in the first box. The next sound that I want you to write in the next box is z. What letter makes the Z sound. The last sound box, I would like you to write the letter T. What letter makes the T sound? All right, we're ready to write some words. I will help you stretch them this week, but you need to find all the sounds and write them down. Your hint is that they are all three letter words. I will give you a challenge at the end to see if you can sound out and write a four letter sound word. Ready? The first sound, the word is mop. Stretch it out. Mop. Mop. Go ahead and write mop on the first line. If I'm going too quickly, you can pause this video. The next word I want you to write is dog. D. Og. Dog. Write the word dog on the second line. Purposely giving you a hard letter to make sure that you don't write bog. That would be a completely new word. Make sure it is dog. And to make it tricky, I want to change dog to fog. So your last word on the very bottom will be fog. Can you change dog to fog? All right, my challenge word for you, if you would like to, you can write on the other side of your paper or you can turn your paper over and write it on the back. See if you can spell the challenge word Slip. I'm not going to stretch it out for you because it is a challenge. I want to see if you hear all the words slip. I slip on the ice. Slip. All right. 
Enjoy your challenge, and hopefully I can see that you've spelled and stretched all those words correctly.